what's up guys and welcome back to another video today's video we're focusing on new zealand rugby and the fight for survival that they're currently facing for those who don't know new zealand have just gone into lockdown and obviously up the ante of preventing people from getting outdoors and and allowing this virus to get bigger and bigger and um, in doing so they've obviously postponed majority all sporting aspects in new zealand at the moment New Zealand rugby, obviously the the Super Rugby clubs and New Zealand's Rugby Players Association, they've been working on ways in order to see a revised version of Super Rugby tournament to make it within the country to keep it safe. Obviously, close doors and to create something to keep the fans entertained so you can watch because we've obviously got nothing to watch. But unfortunately, that was all been put on hold or cancelled due to the government's announcements all new zealand teams will cease training and at this stage there is no decision of the future of the super rugby competition or the all blacks test schedule for july um obviously mark robertson who's the ceo of new zealand rugby says health and welfare of players management and wider rugby community at this challenging time is most important which you can understand i mean we're facing a situation where people's lives are at stake and you've got to fight for survival but the problem we face here is new zealand rugby is the main sport in the country you if you're a new zealander or a new zealand fan you eat sleep breathe drink rugby it's a passion that you love you can see it when people fans wear the jerseys you can see it when they the team plays and um, um the CEO has gone on to say, Mark said, we're fighting for the sports survival in New Zealand around rugby. And if you can't get motivated by the challenge, by that challenge and the opportunity that sits beyond that, then we'll never be no motivated. It's creating anxiety in our game at all club levels, from our clubs and community level and into our professional ranks, which is so true. It's given an opportunity in a weird way this break that we're going to face. Well, South Africa goes into lockdown on Friday officially. New Zealand, I think, are, will be on lockdown on Thursday. Um, what it does do, it allows us to recap and it gives the opportunity for the rebirth of the sport. Because if we watch Super Rugby, we saw a lot of empty stadiums, um, fans lacking the support, not into it as much. Obviously, international rugby, you've got your main games that are always sold out. But if New Zealand have to play a weak team like Italy or somewhere, it might not always be sold out. So this gives us World Rugby the opportunity to have the rebirth of the game. And um, Richard McCall said on the breakdown, you don't know what you have until it's gone. So you might have a better appreciation for it when it returns. And I think that's the truth. Um, and uh, we... We as a sporting nation or sporting fans, um, I know as talking as a South African, we just got to be patient and, and just allow these things to progress and think of the welfare of people at the moment. Obviously, New Zealand need the sport to fund for the, for the sport and grow. Um, and that's the main idea going forward is we want these things to be able to give a financial income because this is going to take a hit whether we like it or not. Hence why I said fight for survival because Super Rugby is gone. That means no stadiums are getting game time, no fans buying merch in the orca. They can still buy merch, but there won't be delivery. So it's going to be a loss in the month of what could have been Super Rugby games. Um, players getting the exposure that they need, sponsorships, payment all that stuff all that gets thrown up into the air now and you've got to wait and see how one can deal with this type of situation and where to go next but i think if we have to take po any positives from the situation it is one the appreciation of the game i mean i haven't watched a live game obviously in about it's two weeks now um from super rugby and you definitely miss it and, and, and it gives you an appreciation of the sport when it is live. So I think when when rugby comes back and all other sporting codes, it's going to give us the opportunity and it's going to excite fans just that one more time. And it's going to bring a lot of 
excitement and, and, and passion and motivation and gears back into the sport, which for me is the key goal going forward. And I think that's something we must look forward to. Yes, it's tough right now, but there are ways to, to, to excite ourselves. YouTube, there's some old games to look forward to. Catching back on your favorite YouTubers, the 1014 when they still did content, Two Cents Rugby. I mean, there's lots of great people out there who've dedicated what their craft is to the sport. And um, obviously we face a situation where we can't create because there's not much news. But we're doing our best to keep it going so to keep you, our fans, entertained during this time. So for those who you support, whether it's me or whether it's Two Cents, whether it's whoever, go give them support, show them love to their channel so that they can continue entertaining you for the sport we love. That's going to do it for today's video. Just to all New Zealand fans around the world um, and subscribers and um, the New Zealand public, keep safe. Um, abide by the government rules so that you can return quicker and we can fight this, this virus together. Obviously, there's other countries that are affected and I'll dedicate to them as well. But being New Zealand's one of the most dominant teams in world rugby and uh, Mark Robertson announcing it today, I thought I'd cover it as well. So stay safe out there, guys, and remember to never give up. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.